I think that 24 will be a pivotal year because we have all of these forces coming together in 2024. Ray Dalio, the renowned investor behind Bridgewater Associates, has shifted his focus from managing the world's largest hedge fund to sharing his wealth of knowledge. Through his LinkedIn newsletter, Principled Perspectives, followed by over half a million readers, Dalio recently explored whether we're in a stock market bubble. His unique bubble gauge, based on six key indicators, assesses market conditions against historical bubbles, high prices compared to traditional value measures, unsustainable conditions, such as unrealistic growth extrapolation, an influx of new, inexperienced buyers lured by rising markets, widespread bullish sentiment, a high proportion of debt-financed purchases, excessive forward and speculative buying. Ray Dalio's perspective on the stock market, particularly regarding the absence of a bubble, is echoed by several other analysts and experts, although opinions do vary. Here's a summary of what other experts are saying. UBS strategists believe that despite the S&P 500's significant gains heavily concentrated among the magnificent seven tech companies, there is no imminent bubble ready to burst. They point out differences in earnings, margins, free cash flow, and IPO and M&A activity from the late 90s dot-com bubble, suggesting that the current market enthusiasm is based on actual shareholder returns rather than mere hype one. T.S. Lombard analysts argue that the market concentration is justified given the strong earnings of the top companies. They note that while the index is vulnerable to risks specific to these companies, the overall market does not exhibit the typical characteristics of a bubble. James Surowiecki, writing for The Atlantic, suggests that the market rally is based on solid economic fundamentals, including the strength of the U.S. economy and corporate profit margins. He argues that the term bubble is a misnomer for the current market situation. Jeremy Grantham, a well-known market bear, has expressed concerns about the market reaching illogical and dangerous levels, hinting at a potential bubble. However, his view seems to be more cautious and less aligned with the general consensus. Michael Burry and Leon Cooperman are among those with more dire warnings, anticipating a market crash or downturn, which contrasts with the more optimistic views of other experts. Dalio's latest analysis reveals that the current market with a 52% bubble gauge score is not exhibiting the extreme bubble characteristics seen in 1929 or 1999. While some aspects like high prices and new buyer activity are somewhat frothy. The overall market doesn't show signs of a bubble when considering factors like leverage and speculative buying. This suggests that despite some areas of concern, the market is not in a state comparable to the most notorious historical bubbles. Zooming in on the S&P 500, we find the magnificent seven, seven tech giants driving much of the index's recent performance. Ray Dalio's bubble gauge, which can be tailored to specific companies Company clusters suggests emerging bubble-like conditions for these firms. While the general market shows mixed signals, the Magnificent Seven exhibit high valuations and bullish sentiment, with AI's promise inflating expectations. Despite this, the market isn't in a bubble, but these tech leaders are showing signs of frothiness. For investors seeking opportunities amidst these conditions, Seeking Alpha's Alpha Pick service offers a solution. It provides a curated portfolio of top-rated stocks, making it easier to discover and research promising long-term investments. And for those interested, there's a discount available through a special link. Returning to Dalio's insights, he notes that the current market's high prices don't yet signal an overall overvaluation. Ray Dalio's bubble gauge thinks the magnificent seven tech stocks are a bit pricey, but not crazy expensive. He admits some of their valuations rely on future growth predictions, especially in AI, which is uncertain. This is interesting because NVIDIA a big AI player isn't screaming bubble according to the gauge. Maybe it's because everyone's so hyped about AI that inflated valuations seem normal. The gauge also sees some frothiness in how much these companies need to grow to justify their stock prices. While Nvidia's valuation is high, it's at least backed by strong earnings growth, unlike some companies in the tech bubble of the past. So, is the market in a bubble? Dalio's gauge says the magnificent seven are inflated, but not crazy. The key 
key will be how well these companies, especially those relying on AI, live up to the hype. Ray Dalio, a market guru, has a tool to spot bubbles. It looks at things like new investors and overall optimism. In 2020, the gauge went crazy due to a flood of new folks buying hot stocks. Today, new investors are a bit high, but not crazy high. Sentiment is also more neutral than bubbly. So, while there's some extra excitement around things like AI stocks, it's not quite a bubble yet. Good news! Leverage, a major bubble risk, is currently low. This means investors aren't borrowing heavily to buy stocks, which is a safer situation. However, there are some pockets of potential frothiness. The Magnificent 7 tech stocks are investing heavily in AI, which could be a sign of over-enthusiasm. Overall, Ray Dalio believes the market isn't in a bubble yet, but the Magnificent 7 are worth keeping an eye on. Do you think the market's headed for a bubble? Share your thoughts in the comments.